times we make it worse Cause I'm not listening And you're not listening Growing up, I listened to a lot of Justin Bieber, Ed Sheeran, Shawn Mendes. The artists I listened to growing up were Michael Jackson, uh, Michael Buble, Justin Bieber, Drake. Uh, my dad would always play like P.O.D. and U2. That was always cool. There's videos of me when I was super, super young, probably like three, four years old, uh, dancing to Michael Jackson. I listened to a lot of like the Beach Boys, the Beatles, also kind of Ed Sheeran, Justin Bieber. Um, I remember sitting in the crowd, I was probably 12 years old, and Justin was like 15, and I saw him, and I was just like, dang, that's so cool, I want to do that. Um, and that's kind of when I, when I really told myself I wanted to do music, you know? The artist I look up to right now, it is definitely Ed Sheeran. He's so inspiring, and uh, his work ethic is just insane. The fact that he can just stand up there on a stage, just him and a guitar, in, in front of a whole stadium of people, and captivate them for a whole set is unbelievable. My favorite artist would have to be Frank Ocean. His album Blonde brings me back to a really, really good time in my life. I, I really love, you know, his creativity and just the, the sort of wavelength he's on. I play like 20, 25 instruments by ear that I've counted so far, but I don't know, music connects in a weird way and I think I've found that it's sort of like a language. We would all just hang in, in the Why Don't We Compound, we called it, and um, we would just start jamming out. I remember we'd wake up and we'd just instantly be inspired to write. We recorded all five of our EPs that we have out right now. We worked with our boy Radio, uh, he's a producer, and then also a songwriter named Candice Pillay. Two people that mean the world to us, and I've always been there since the beginning. They helped us through everything, they're amazing people. The release process um, for like the first year was just super, super quick. Uh, we just always had music coming, and as soon as we finished one project, we were off to the next. We'd basically be recording almost every day. We went into it like, yo, we have so many ideas, like, why don't we just release them all? Like, why don't we just show the world like what, what we're doing? It was really just about putting out as much content as possible. Um, and I think that really helped fuel the Why Don't We Fire um, and you know contributed a lot to the success that we've had so far. So the mashups are something we've been doing uh, on our Instagram for a while. We fell in love, not knowing why. It usually consists of like two or three songs. We usually let the fans pick the songs. We'll just all sit down together, grab our guitar, and then uh, we just start mashing them up and just turns into magic. We decided let's bring it on tour. We are huge fans of Ed Sheeran and we've seen his live show, how he uses a looper and his guitar and his voice. We're like, yo, how can we combine our mashups? with the looper. And then Daniel had the idea of using like this beat pad and then looping the beat pad on the software on his computer. It sounded so cool the first time he did it and we're like, okay, we need this in our show. And uh, yeah, that's how that started. Getting our first number one was honestly like a surreal moment. It was super unexpected. Definitely a very big milestone checked off the list. It was really, really an amazing feeling like this is all working and I can't believe, you know, our dreams are coming true. My favorite Why Don't We song, it's gotta be Runner off our Why Don't We Just EP. It's just such a creative, different song. My favorite Why Don't We lyric ever has to be, you gotta take the chance right in front of you. You gotta make your plans, what you gonna do? If you wanna, if you wanna make, you know, an impact on the world and, and, and make a name for yourself. You gotta, you gotta take a chance. I think that just kind of explains, you know, my life uh, in a way and like how I got here. Recording the first album has been one of the coolest experiences uh, ever. I think my favorite part is really just getting to see everything we put on paper come to life. I never thought 
that you know we'd be working with the people we're working with or having the resources we have. We're so used to dropping EPs, like every month usually we would drop one. And uh, finally, we're coming out with an album. From this first album, fans can expect uh, kind of like a, I guess a new side of Why Don't We? I think we're really taking the, this music to the next level and you know, really maturing as artists. We are just taking time to perfect it. I think it's a big step up for us. It's gonna be a really special album. So I'm super excited. I hope you guys are too. Love you so much. We go breaking up like cell phones when I speak cause you don't listen when I talk. Dial tone, nothing.